The world is begging all of us to come back and be our strong and best selves. When we don't do this, we're not just doing a disservice in our own life, but we're doing a disservice to the people that we love and a disservice that is a ripple effect in this world. It's our responsibility to be our best self as best as we can because that's what changes the world. That's what heals the world. So I want to start with the inspiration that I received this week when someone shared a video with me. And as I was watching this video, I was like, yes. Somebody is finally getting what I've been trying desperately to explain for so many years. And as I was watching this video and I caught myself going, yeah, 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 bring it. I was completely left deflated at the end because it was missing the most important thing that will bring healing and transformation into your life. This gentleman was explaining the importance of really spirituality and what it is and what it means to our life. And he explained it by bringing out this big glass vase, right? And this glass vase is what represented us, us the vessel, right? And in this glass vase, he filled it with all the ping pong balls. And the ping pong balls represented all the things that happen when life happens because life happens, right? Divorce, pains, um, you know, abuse. It, it, you, death, it represents all of those things, loss of a job, loss of a relationship, you know, it, just all those things. They just, all those ping pong balls represented when life happens and all of us, all those ping pong balls represent something different for all of us, right? And so he did this amazing thing where he said, well, when you turn to your spirituality, it's like you've opened this flow. And then he gets this big pitcher of water and he fills the vase with the water, right? And that water represented that flow from the universe. And all of a sudden, all of these ping pong balls were floating up to the top and they were coming out of the vase. And all of a sudden, this vessel was clear with water again. This is what spirituality does for us. It helps us move through with healing by our side. And when we can move through with healing by our side, we're better and stronger because of those experiences. Now, does that mean that it eliminates from life happening? It doesn't. Those ping pong balls come back. They come back. But what was missing was what I've experienced since the debut of The Secret in 2006. I've experienced it myself to some level. I've experienced the same issue with working for coaches when they, when I was actually helping them prepare materials. I was actually behind the scenes preparing materials for people and they were coming across the same issue over and over again. But that true life fulfillment and that more continued and consistent success isn't, isn't there. You sort of have this high and then it peters out. There is an ebb and flow that is in constant motion. And if you're not paying attention to it and you don't nurture this, have it work with you, then you find yourself back at square one again, scratching your head. How the heck was I feeling so great? And now I'm not. So let's go back to that vessel idea of the video that I saw. So what happens when you stop nurturing your spiritual side. When I'm talking about your spiritual side, I'm talking about opening up your spiritual force and allowing your own inner wisdom, your own intuition to get better, to get stronger, so that it supports you making better decisions more consistently throughout the entirety of your life. So let's go back to that example, that vase. If you were to leave a vase of water outside in 98.6 degree temperature, which is the same in average temperature of the human body, what would happen? evaporation. Evaporation happens. And left alone long enough, birds would come and splash around and take what they need. Animals would come take a sip of water, take what they need. Over time, that water gets dirty. Not meaning to, but it just does. That's just how seasons go. It's just how it works. That's just life. This is what 
those without some kind of even small practical spiritual practice is effectively doing to you. You're muddying the waters. You're muddying that channel, that flow, that natural born intuition and inner wisdom that all of us have. To keep the vessel clean means more consistent and practical maintenance. And it's got to be practical. Because truly being your very best self, your best empowering self means utilizing every part of you, including your spiritual self. This is what supports you making better and more informed decisions about your life. And they're decisions that are aligning to your soul truth, who you are, what you're about, and what you're here to do. So here's the big thing. Intention wavers. Intention wavers. Your thoughts and your positive thinking and visualization are good. They wake up the needle, but it doesn't move it. It's your action that demands the attention of the universe to hear you and work with you so that you can manifest more in your life. Otherwise, <laughs> back to that ping pong example, life happens. If you don't pay attention to moving through the, with the energy, working with the universal energy, then those ping pong balls are like scabs and they keep oozing and they struggle to heal. It's the practical spiritual practice that keeps you on track and helps those scabs turn into scars. They're healed. And it's those scars that allow you to show up, to talk about it from a position of strength and overcoming and healing, helping yourself as well as helping others. And the more we do this, the more we heal the world. Cycles like full moons help us awaken through sensitivity, become more aware. And it allows us to process the healing and move through it much faster. But still, too many just keep ignoring this process. You are a fuller extension of the universe when you work with her. If not, you're sort of just trying to, trying to live separate from the universe. And it's, it doesn't work because you're not. You're a part of this divine working system. So we live in a really fast-paced world. And now, more than ever, you got to consider how you can keep a spiritual practice in practical ways. And it doesn't have to be difficult, which is why I, I do this week to week. I give you easy strategies each week, day by day to integrate into your life. We include the mantras, we include the meditations, and notice that nothing I give you is hours upon hours of work. It's really a few minutes a day, that's it. And if you miss a day or two, it's okay because you're building a momentum of energy, a momentum of practice that a day missed doesn't leave you put out. It doesn't peter you out. It doesn't muddy the waters. You don't have to start from square one again. This world requires this kind of online, social, soulful community. It's why I created it. It's evolutionary. Not everyone can leave and go to Bali, can leave for retreats, it's not efficient it's, and it's not consistent. Remember this, intention communicates. It wakes things up, but it's your consistent action that creates what you want in your life. And that's what makes spirituality for the stubborn soul so different and so necessary for this time in our life.